on the Carnival Jubilee leaving Cozumel, Mexico. Wait for everybody to hop on here. It's our second formal night. Just left the cab. Let's go upstairs. See who hops on this evening. It's Thursday, March Madness has started. See who hops on. Some of you guys will watch this on replay, which is perfectly fine. It is Thursday. Hey, Tony, Richard, Jimbo, Nick. Hello. Good evening, little Wendy and James and Nick. An empty ship. What's going on, guys? Turn it around here. I just walked up deck six. Midship. Been working for just a little while on travel agency stuff. We just left Cozumel about 10 minutes ago. Hey, Will and Nancy. Look at that. I love it. It is elegant night. It's almost dinner time. Two days in a row. That's right, Dennis. Exactly right. Elegant night, and it was, of course, Cozumel. So everyone enjoyed their day. Now they're getting ready. Golden Mermaid, not too busy right now. It will be, though. Hey, Mark. We'll walk around just a little bit. People are slowly coming out. Let me ask you this. It's elegant night, and this is the second elegant night, okay? The first one you may have been excited about. You may have gotten dressed up quite a bit, but the second one, what do you do? What do you do? Do you get all dressed up again? Are you wearing maybe something like this? A dress shirt, some shorts? James is at the Golden Mermaid. Good evening, guys. Just click the button to go live. You're live now. <laughs> See you in a little bit. I appreciate that very much. Are you solving it? Sudoku? Yeah, working on it. I like it. I like it. Have a good evening. Hey, Monty. Yeah, what are you wearing? Let's go up here and get a little uh, Gatorade action. What are you wearing that second uh, formal night? You getting as dressed up? Are you saying, nah, not as much? Let's look at, uh, there's just not very many people out. Okay, you walk up to the bar. What do you have? Let's see. Here we go. I'll take the Fahrenheit. You get the Celsius. I'll take the Fahrenheit. No. I'm just kidding. There we go. There we go. There we go. Talking about a Celsius drink, I said I'll take the Fahrenheit. Kevin, we're on the cruise, leaving March the 30th. Jerry is here. Absolutely. It's been a great week. It has. Uh, Amanda is taking a little nap. Yep. Uh, Ted, she's taking a little nap. And uh, Jackson and Becca are too. We had a big day. More casual, Richard says. It's still in the main dining room. That's what I did. Uh, just a Gatorade, please. Uh, uh, yellow if you have it. If not, blue. Perfect. You're the man. Thank you so much. I'm a little less, I'll, I'm a little bit more casual. I'll show you guys here in a second. Some people maybe get mad at me though, really. Take a look at the selection here. What are you gonna drink here? Your pre-dinner drink. My first one is the hydrate, little Gatorade. Thank you so much. What are you gonna, what's your pre-ordered, uh, pre-dinner drink here? And where would you be going? We'll go a couple different places here. Just a little bit. A milestone, I, I saw John Hill today said something about some big announcement on milestone cruises effective immediately probably not meaning effective like legit right now something new for milestone cruisers i'm a milestone cruiser but i don't think i'll get anything off of it drinky drinks he says sangria swirl james i like it man and i like a berry sangria i like it ah that is good Let's walk around here just a little bit. They're practicing over here. Look at that bar, that's pretty. You can get some beer on tap, right? Let's see.
that's pretty. Uh, let's go to Dr. Inks and see if Dayana's over there so we can say hello. So many of you Islanders love Dayana when you cruise. She makes uh, some great drinks and she likes to be on YouTube. So we're gonna see if she's over here at Dr. Inks. Deck six here, midship. Let's see what we got. Miss Ann, I hope that you're doing okay this evening. We went to Playa Mia today. First time to ever go to Playa Mia there in Cozumel. Uh, another kind of all-inclusive resort, more geared towards families and kids. So a lot of you are probably not interested, that's okay. But our kiddos had a blast. They've got a splash pad water, water park, of course the beach, a buffet. Had some great fajitas, unbelievable fajitas. Oh, I need to go in here. I need to go in here, you know why? It's formal night, I need to smell good. Smell good. It does smell good. Hello ladies, you're live on YouTube. <laughs> Talk about formal night, what cologne and perfume would everyone be wearing on formal night? I don't know, it smells good. The green one. Mm -mm -mm. You can buy it right here on board. What's the plan for Cozumel? I'll get that to that here in just a second. I'm walking to get my Gatorade. So here we go. Let's go right over here. I went to Playa Mia. Look at this. This is the entrance of currents here. Look at that shot right there, that family. That is awesome. That is awesome. Great shot there. Currents. Of course, the chair, the chair reserved for Dr. Inks. You're at Marcino's XL staircases are awesome. Let's see if Diana, Diana, Diana. She may not be here yet. Not here yet, Emeralds. Ooh, the dining room is already busy. Look at that. Wow, it's not even five yet. Uh, that's also guest service. No, guest service is on eight. Huh, already busy. I'm surprised with that. Here, I'll sit down here in a second. I hear uh, crazy Nikolai up there. We'll go to Alchemy in a second if y'all want to. Here, let's sit right here. Just a second. Turn this thing around. Here we go. I'll answer some questions here in just a minute before we go upstairs. Here's Diana. We'll say hello here in just a second. I know I missed a couple of questions here. Uh, what bar has the best old fashioned Glen? My favorite of all is a smoked old fashioned from Golden Mermaid. It's unbelievable. Yep. Yeah, Messiah. Uh, guest services is on uh, deck eight. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, Cucumber Sunrise. We can definitely get one of those up there. I see Nikolai up there. BYU. I saw that. BYU. Uh, the tournament started today. I haven't watched any games. Got to go on the Jubilee. The wife and I will be cruising. After a group cruise, it's going to be awesome. James, I agree. Uh, Golden Mermaid is a secret. It's a secret. People start to find out later in the cruise. Good evening. Hey, Kevin. I'm drinking my Gatorade. Trying to rehydrate, right? Uh, not so much for drinking purposes, but it was hot today in Cosmo. It's been hot all week. We've had... Uh, of our, I guess it's six days, um, five days, we've had uh, four days of 100 degree temperatures. So it has been really hot, which is what a lot of us want this time of year. We want to break uh, the cold where we're at. Straight away, toddler activities. There are a bunch of toddler activities. Uh, the Fun Times has all kinds of activities and story times and family game times. And uh, of course, we have a four-year-old and so we partake in some of those some are outdoors some are indoors some are just for the toddlers some are for families of course the kids club they do a great job uh, at the kids club absolutely danny hello really doing the new live tours this week uh, you are most definitely welcome as long as the internet is good it, it tends to do better if you need to do work or check email it tends to do better on deck six where I'm at. For some reason, one floor up, Alchemy, it's, it's not as good at all. Amanda's going to send us an email. We will most uh, definitely love to transfer your cruise to our agency. We can help you out 
Uh, Carnival is a great partner with that. All cruise lines are, really. Uh, but Carnival is, is the best partner. They have the longest window, 90 days. If you book a cruise, you have 90 days to transfer it to us as long as you're outside of final payment. And so we would love to do that and help you. There's uh, Skylar and my sister dressed up. Looky here, come say hello. Hello. She, uh, she thinks I'm some sort of famous star or something when I say I have a YouTube channel. I'm not. I guess I could let her think I am for a little while, right? She'll figure out one day I'm not at all. But you are representing the island Tom Lanyard. Mm -hmm. And then you found a duck? No, that was not new. Was that new? Yeah. And you found it too. Keychain. Today? Since yeah. we got on? A so keychain. Yes, Scott, where there's an earring. Where there How are you? I just tell you what. Oh. I'm just gonna let her think that. You, you, know. you helped us out on a couple of good points, so thank you for doing it. Of course, I appreciate that so much. I do. Um, Richard, we did an Ocean View cabin this time. Um, we, of course, we do different cabins throughout interior Ocean View uh, balcony. No suites yet, we don't have that kind of money, but we just did an Ocean View uh, cabin. It's the same square footage as a balcony, has the same layout and amenities, but you have to save some money. We're not in the cabin very much. So that's what we did this week was an ocean view. We did a cove balcony uh, on the Jubilee as well. On the I'll do it in a few seconds and it drops off. Let's move. Internet's not good there. Let's go to Golden Mermaid, see if there's a little bit more better service or coverage. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Havana Cabana, May the 4th. Uh, they are nice. We were in Havana actually earlier. People are already waiting for dinner. Look at this. It's not even 5 o'clock. Wow. Yeah, we were in Havana a little bit. There was a wedding there the first day. We knew some people. Time to not, so we stopped by. They are nice. No music right now. I'm surprised by that. Let me show you this venue from, uh, from right here. Here we go. Trish, hello. Please help me out. I put down a deposit uh, on the Jubilee. For May of 2025, my PBP left. Oh my goodness. Trish, uh, shoot us an email, travel at bookislandtime.com. We will help you out. Travel at bookislandtime.com. May take us just a few days to catch up. Look at this. Casino right up there. Oh, Ronnie's all dressed up too. I like that, Ronnie. Um, look, I mean, look at this. Dressed up to the nine. I love it. I love it. Is it almost five? Yes. Let's order a smoked old fashioned. Is Panda working? Panda, Panda, Panda. She is not. She is not, but that's okay. Let's sit right here. We'll order one anyway. Panda makes the, the best uh, smoked old fashions, but they're probably all good, right? I shared this with you. I haven't shared it yet. Uh, we're check, catching up on email earlier today, and we will be in Long Beach, the Carnival Forense naming ceremony, uh, August, uh, April 24th. So, about a month, we'll be in Long Beach to welcome in the Forense, uh part of their festivities. We're excited about that. I mean, have to take off of school again. Maybe. She says she's going to go. I hope she does go. It'll be fun. By transferring to you, how would you be able to help us? get more bang for your buck. We do a couple of different things for you. First off, we check your pricing uh, every single Monday, see if your price goes down, see if you have better offers, more onboard credit, more perks and amenities. Uh, maybe there's a small price difference to upgrade, so we do that. We also uh, request upgrades with the upgrade team. There's five associates that we work with. Um, upgrades are hard to get, but we have a pretty good average. I say pretty good average, it's above above what other travel agents are for sure. Yep. Uh, Jason, I'll have to look. I don't think he is. Um, and then we can help you, of course, plan your entire trip. So if you're driving in, uh, where should you stay? Uh, where should you park your car? If you're flying in, we can help with transportation services. We can help with excursion activities. We can help with questions about the ship and dining and all that. So, uh, and it's free. <laughs> free to you. Carnival pays us to do it for you. So uh, that's say Carnival all cruise lines do. Then, uh, Norwegian, Virgin Voyages, Princess, MSC, all of them. So, yep. I appreciate that very much. Comments are flying by here. Long Beach Port is great. Take a, a tour of the Queen Mary. I didn't do that. 
Yes, I need to do that. Matter of fact, I think she's opened back up uh, where you can stay on her. So maybe I'll look at doing that. I think the, I think April 24th is a Wednesday. I barely peeked at that email. Uh, I need to look at it again. But I need to marry that to do. Yep. Shauna, yes, absolutely. When Kendall returns, and I'll try to... Uh, she's been so busy this week, of course, training some and um, packing. She's getting ready to pack. And so I haven't seen her as much. Um, my collar is flipped up, guys. You didn't tell me. Goodness gracious. Trying to look good. Um, uh, smoked Old Fashioned, please. And a water. No. That, that works. Yes, that works. That works. People getting ready for dinner. Uh, a lot more elegant than I am. <laughs> um, I see the state on the Queen Mary in January. It is a really neat history there. Do you know if Galveston plans to do anything about traffic on Harborside Drive? They just switched some of the navigation around actually on March 16th while we were there. Uh, traffic uh, coming into Terminal 25 used to come in one way. Uh, for the first time, it was it was reversed. So uh, they are doing trying to do some improvements about traffic. But enough with 6,500 people for the Jubilee. Uh, yeah, it's, not, it's tough when you have that many people uh, coming onto the ship, right? It really is. Why you only cruise Carnival Cruise because it's cheap. Try Celebrity. Uh, Orlando was only Carnival. Uh, we've cruised four line, uh, four cruise lines, or will cruise four cruise lines this year. Uh, we were on the Icon of the Seas four or five weeks ago. Um, we are cruising with Norwegian again uh, this Thanksgiving and um, the Sun Princess uh, in July. So we cruise other cruise lines for sure. Um, and we like all kinds of different uh, cruise lines. Cele Celebrity is one that we have not tried, but we're hoping in 2025 to hop on uh, maybe the Ascent is what we're looking for. So we'll see about that. But yeah, four cruise lines this year. Uh, will be fun, most definitely. Carnival, though, does provide great value. And a lot of times we cruise for next to nothing um, because of casino deals. And I'm not a big casino player. I'll share that. Um, but yeah, they're affordable, most definitely. And um, kid pricing is really good. Great question. You about to order something? No, I'm going to order something. Oh my gosh. You're, you're tapping it? You're getting... <laughs> No, he was, uh, look at this. The smoked old fashioned. About to work its magic. Jason is here. It's a big wish. Here's a smoked old fashioned right here. Look at that. Jason, we're live on YouTube here. Everybody wanted to see the smoked old fashioned. This is the place to get it. This is it. I was actually at Dr. Inks. They said, Where's the best old, uh, old fashioned? I said, Let's hop next door. Working the magic. Jason, working the magic there. And here we go. Oh, it is amazing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm, it's good. The smoke uh, takes off some of the bite. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Jason, uh, let's see. Sharon and James say hi. What's up? <laughs> Jason says hello. Hey, Chris, how are you? Linda, hello. There you go. Cheers, everybody. It is uh, Thursday night, I think. Cheers to everybody. How cool is that? Good evening, Richard. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, now my brother-in-law says, you know what? Give me some of those, too. The bar's starting to pick up here before dinner. It is. I'm surprised there's not live music. This is a great venue. Usually before dinner and after dinner with live music. No live music right now, though. Thank you, Thank you so much. 
Oh yeah, we're starting to get some hustle and bustle. That's what I like. Look at him working. At him working here. I got Woodford, but there's a lot of different choices too on, on uh, bourbon. I wanted to mention that as well. I guess I'll, uh, should I go ask guest services about the milestone cruise announcement? There's supposed to be something extra effective immediately. I don't know if I should ask about that or not. I don't know. I'll ask and see. It was an announcement just made today, effective immediately. But we'll see. Uh, Trish, our email is uh, travel at bookislandtime.com. Travel at bookislandtime.com. Again, we're a little bit behind. Uh, we'll catch up though over the weekend, most definitely. Don't spoil the surprise. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they'll have it just yet. I know he said effective immediately, but I, probably uh, effective on cruises that are starting probably right now. We want to do a back to back? Absolutely. Um, the group cruise leaving December 28th. Uh, there are still rooms available, Kevin. We have our uh, group cruise New Year's on the Jubilee. We just had a group cruise for the inaugural sailing of the Jubilee, and it was a blast. We uh, we absolutely enjoyed it, and um, we can't wait to host another one. We give a bunch of stuff away, I will tell you that. It does not cost you any more to be part of the group cruise as it would if you booked your own cruise or called a 1-800 number or anything. But you, we have group events, we have group excursions, we have group meetups and drinks, we have open bar uh, parties. We give away swag bags and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. So New Year's, get through Christmas, December 25th. You have a couple days of travel. The cruise is December the 28th through January the 3rd. Kendall will be on board for that cruise as well as her schedule is now. And uh, it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You're welcome, Trish. Um, Danny, we have sailed, um, We've sailed into New York. We did a one-way from Barcelona to New York City. Uh, but I would say that we will probably sell in New York again. Our kiddos really like uh, New York quite a bit. And uh, the Venezia always has good pricing out of New York. So we will probably uh, sell out of New York. Uh, not this summer, next. Look at Ronnie over here. Oh man, another smoke. Another one. Uh, Kendall's gonna take a little break here. Uh, she gets off the ship Saturday. We'll hop back on May the 4th. And then I think sometime in September, she's off the ship as well. She's here though for all the major holidays and uh, she'll be here for New Year's. So we're excited about that. I guess she'll get to go see Joey uh, on the Friends Day. Oh, it's good. Thank you, Jason, it's great. Thank you, cheers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Boy, that is good. <laughs> uh, there will be people. Dayana, that's Dayana over there. Dayana's like, you made me famous. May 4th selling. Exactly, Chris. Yep, you're exactly right. Uh, that is Kendall's first week to be back. So um, she will be back. I hope Amanda grabs her card before she leaves the car. If not, you know who will be going back to get the card. It's almost five now. We can check in for dinner here in just a little bit. Looks like y'all are having a great time from Arkansas. I'll live about 30 minutes. Oh, wow, Jimmy. Uh, I would say 75% of the ship. Antonio, May 4th as well. Oh, my gosh. 75% uh, of the ship, at least, is from Arkansas. Uh, spring break for the entire public school system. And so many Arkansas decide to cruise. That's what they do. Look at these guys working. It's amazing to work with. They know exactly what they're doing, exactly where everything is, like the back of their hand, right? The servant of drinks. So cool. Let's do this. Let's do this. Everybody else should be coming here pretty soon. We're gonna go to dinner. Hey, Don, out of Florida. Cheers on a Thursday night. Uh, some of you may have off tomorrow. Maybe you're working. Stephen, you're right. So much to do on the ship. I mean, so much to do. There's something we did last night we haven't done in our two cruises. That was eat at Guy's Pig and Anchor for dinner. Mrs. Jones. That was awesome. Uh, we really enjoyed Guy's Pig and Anchor, the barbecue there for dinner. The Mississippi mud pie was great. We enjoyed that.
Let's see, everybody at five. Let's see what time it is. Get close. It's five now, actually. Um, yeah, it is lobster. I forgot about that. Yeah, so second uh, elegant night, second formal night. It is lobster and I guess prime rib on the menu tonight. That'd be good. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Mardi Gras is booked in November, Jubilee for February, Stephen. Uh, that's going to be fun to compare those two ships. Of course, they are the same class, uh, have really the same layout, uh, but some different rings for sure, like this bar that I'm sitting in now. Yep. My sister just messaged, but she was just here a few minutes ago. Uh, it's neat to see what's been done on these XL class ships over the this class even, just the last class, right? There's so much more uh, that's offered on these ships. And that's what I was trying to tell my sister. It's her first cruise, and she now thinks that all cruising is like this. Um, but it's not. We know that. Uh, but what Carmel's done is pretty cool. Yeah. Z, a main dining room. Uh, it's been good this week. Uh, I will say we were surprised uh, when we got on board. We had a couple of uh, messages from senior officers that were on board, and they knew that we were coming back on. They had helped us with our group cruise, the event planning, the logistics of getting everything everywhere and reserving spaces and making sure equipment worked and microphones worked and things like that. They knew we were on board and they said, you know what, we know you have your family here this week, there's 10 of you. Let us know where you want to eat, uh, what time you want to eat, and we will make sure you have a table. You don't have to check in. And I was like, I told you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that for me. And we had some issues. Z just pointed them out. We had some issues with main dining. And um, they said, you know, we want to make it up to you. We know that you were here that first cruise and there were some issues. So they have really treated us well this week. Yep. Last week of July on the Vista, that will be fun. Uh, Stephen, we got a Carnival Vista tour on page. We've cruised the Vista probably six times. We will be on the Vista next Thanksgiving, uh, going to Virgin Islands. We're excited about that. There she is. So my sister said she's here, but I didn't see her. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, and the girls want to take pictures tonight. I'm not one of those. I mean, I'm going to do it. You know, I have to do it. But uh, they want to go take the not just uh, pictures that you take with your phone. You, we're going to hit up, I guess, a Pixels background and take pictures tonight. So I hope it's done quick. I hate those pictures. Hate them. But uh, the staff does a great job. Travis asked, how many cruises do we take a year? It really varies. Amanda teaches, and so that her, her schedule holds us back. Uh, we're hoping that uh, maybe the next year or two she won't be teaching. I'm hoping. Amanda loves it. Uh, she, she doesn't want to quit. Uh, but if she, can, uh, if she can quit teaching and just help out with a travel agency, then we'll cruise a lot more than what we do. We cruise probably seven or eight times a year, I would say. Uh, I'd like that to be probably once a month. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Have we been to the steakhouse, Sean? That's a great question. We have been to the steakhouse the first night. Uh, we went to the steakhouse, uh, and it was great. We had a really great experience. We were in and out probably in an hour and 20 minutes, which is great. Uh, and again, that was a party of 10 people. Uh, of course, the steakhouse and some of the other specialty restaurants give a free bottle of wine, red or white. Uh, for the first uh, first night, I think they ended up giving us five bottles, five bottles of wine. Now, I didn't ask for it. They just at one point they kept popping the top, and I said, "Guys, I looked at my brother. Said, are you paying for these?" I, th I had paid for dinner, so I thought maybe maybe he's buying the wine. I said no. So I finally asked the server. I said. Uh, we, we've got our free wine. I said, who's paying for these? He said, oh, no, it's free the first night. And I'm like, well, it's not all you can drink free. Uh, but they ended up giving us five bottles of wine, which I was surprised with. And it was great. Steakhouse was great. It really was. Uh, Danny, we've not done Chef's Table yet. Both times that we have cruised on the Jubilee, we've cruised with our eight- and four-year-old. And uh, I would not book Chef's Table and, and put other people through uh, a nice experience they're paying good money for. Uh, with with uh, the kiddos. 
I want to try it sometime soon, though. Sean, I know. I hate the pictures. I hate them. Yep. Me too. All kinds of people showing up now. We have a uh, anytime dining. We're going to check in here in just a second, which we're excited. Like Will G said, some lobster tail. I may have to, of course, you get two, right? You get two for free, then you have to pay $5 for every additional. But I think both my boys are going to order two lobster tails tonight. They don't like lobster. <laughs> uh, they'll be eating the chicken nuggets and fries. But we'll have some extra lobster tails. Is a milestone cruise different, uh, Travis asked, than a regular cruise? It is not. Uh, the only thing different, I'm still platinum for uh, probably two more cruises. It depends on the length. I'm almost a diamond. Uh, but I get you get this white card, and you can see it's got the blue and the red. Other diamond cards. I don't have that blue and red, um, but nothing else is different. I haven't received anything in the cabin per se, uh, anything at dinner, nothing like that. And so I did, you know, at your, on your 25th cruise, and you can see the 20, 25 there, uh, you do get 25% onboard credit for, uh, for my cruise rate alone. So not port taxes, fees, not 25% of the total, port taxes, fees, insurance, gratuities. 25% of just uh, your cruise rate. And so a lot of people think that that has to be about on your 26th, 27th, 28th cruise. You can choose when you want to do it. This cruise was expensive for us. And so, uh, again, if you have a good travel agent that knows what can and can't be done, I actually use my onboard credit for my 25th cruise. Even though people say, no, you can't do that. You have to go on 25, then you can use it. And I got onboard credit for this cruise. So. At 50 cruises, you get 50% uh, onboard credit. 75 cruises, you get 75%. And your 100th cruise is free. Your cruise is free. The steakhouse on day one, carnival change, one bottle per person. Uh, I think they sometimes do it per cabin. Uh, sometimes I do it by how many adults are there. Uh, but they, they end up giving us five bottles for some reason. Uh, Glenn, we have not had bonsai tempanyaki on board. We're hoping maybe to do that tomorrow for lunch. Um, we have done bonsai tempanyaki, just not on Jubilee. And honestly, if I were to choose one specialty restaurant with Carnival, it would probably be bonsai tempanyaki. It would. Let me flip this uh, around. You guys have seen me for the last several minutes. Let me flip it around so you can see these guys and girls work right here. We'll continue to answer some questions until everybody gets here. I might even uh, walk you guys with me, take, take you with me to dinner um, so you can see what's going on. Steven, yeah, Platinum, November, that's awesome. That'll be great. It'll be interesting to, to see how, uh, what Carnival does, changing their VIFP program. We, don't, uh, we know it's gonna be up sometime this year, of course, and we've talked about that for a long time, and so has Carnival, and it's coming up. Hopefully they're really looking at what other cruise lines do, I'll be honest with you. Free drinks a day to certain people of a certain status. MS offers things like uh, you can use their spa for X amount of time. Once you get to a certain level, you might have a one or two hours free in the spa uh, to enjoy the thermal suites. And so uh, we'll see what Carnival does. Steven, you're exactly right. Yeah, it, it will make me sick uh, the next day or two to pass guest services on deck eight and to see that long line because you know what people are doing. And uh, every time I, uh, I try to avoid the area, I'll be honest with you. Old fashioned is good. I think the steakhouse uh, in Bonsai is better than the steak. I think the steak, yes, uh, Cruising Karen says. I agree. Last time I had Bonsai, I think I was on the horizon and had uh, had the filet and chicken, I think. And I, Karen, I was sitting at the table and said the same thing. I thought that the steak was better at Bonsai than it was uh, on at the steakhouse. Lido, it has been hot. Uh, the seas have been calm. There has been literally almost no movement all week, which I was happy for my sister and her family. You know, people, new cruisers are nervous about that. It has been very hot though. We've had several days over 100 degrees. We even had a sea day uh, the day before, well, I guess uh, it's been three days ago now. It was a 
102 degrees on a sea day. It was hot. Uh, but that's what we wanted, right? That's why we're cruising. It's been nice. We missed you guys, though, I can tell you that. See, I appreciate that. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video to put it in front of other people. McCready says, John Hill said, at the end of the year, is the among uh, that I saw some of his video today but not all of it the internet is not that great yeah well I bet you they grandfather people in if something like that happened people in I would think I would think you're not gonna upset some of your most loyal passengers I didn't know Danny I'll end it here and we'll see you guys very very soon we'll try to go live again tonight if tomorrow if not we'll do it tomorrow guys have a great night have a great Friday at work we'll see you soon right here on island time